Welcome to day six of the fertility challenge. So again, I'm so proud of you for being here, for coming to day six. It's, it's a massive accomplishment for you to really be here and taking your fertility journey so seriously. So you will be so much able to bring in your kids. I'm so, so, so excited for you. So today is about connection. One of the things that I see that is so common throughout the fertility journey and that I was experiencing myself when I went through the fertility journey or the infertility is disconnection. We tend to feel so lonely, to feel disconnected from other people, to feeling misunderstood when the period comes. It's like the whole world is just crashing and we tend to feel so alone. And this exercise that we are going to be doing today is about changing that because what i want you to feel is i want you to feel connected with other people to understand that you are not alone because the reality is you are not alone but i know it does feel so when going through this hard time of your life but this is why this is so extremely extremely important and i would say this may be the hardest one that you are going to do um it's not hard, but it may be like emotionally scary to do this thing. So I want you to pick a person and share your truth to it. I want you to pick a person. It could be your partner. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a colleague, but somebody that you feel like I would love to deepen the relationship with this person. So it should be a person that you like, but maybe yet you have not been feeling really, really, really connected for some reason, because a deep subconscious core belief throughout so many people is that we are feeling a lot, like the belief is that we are alone, we're disconnected, we are different and people don't understand us. So when you are picking a person today, I want you to reach out to this person. It could be through face-to-face -face, or it could be by making this person a video or it could be sending a text message to this person, but it should be something very, very personal. And it could be something like, hey, friend, I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate you for always talking to me by the coffee machine or whatever it is that you truly feel. It, it should be authentic. It should be absolutely true to you. So if you are giving somebody a compliment and you are saying that this person is helping you in any way, point out in what way this person is actually helping you so it could also be like hi person i just want to say that i appreciate you for dot 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 and i would love to hang out with you more i would love to get to know you more i would love to deepen our connection uh our relationship whatever it is that feels true to you but just send a text or interact with somebody today with the intention of creating a deeper relationship with that person. It could be, this was one thing as well. I, when I was married and when I was going through that fertility journey, I know that there was many lies I had. Um, at one time when I was 19, I was living in London and I was very, very drunk at a party and a guy tried to, to rape me. And my subconscious mind had blocked that. I knew like and this happened when I was living in London and I knew that there was something like unpleasant that had been going on, but my mind had totally blocked this memory. But I was living with it still, of course, because it was in my subconscious mind. And um, then when going through the fertility journey and I actually started to, to study Tantra, um, one of the things that I was doing, like, you know, meditation thing for, for the Tantra course, I came back to this horrible, horrible memory about the, the rape situation. And I started to feel just so extremely sick. Like it was like my whole body just wanted to throw up because I had been suppressing this for all those years. It was like 10 or 12 years. I'd been suppressing this truth about my life and i didn't tell anybody because i felt guilty i felt ashamed i felt as if it was my fault that this idiot tried to rape me but i took on that guilt and shame because i was drunk at the time and therefore i felt like if i would have not been drunk then maybe it wouldn't have happened you know we take on so much guilt and what i actually ended up doing when i figured out about this memory when i became aware of this memory was that i shared it with my ex-partner i shared it with him as soon as he came home that day and 
that was such a relief to be able to share parts of my truth that nobody knew that deepened that connection uh, with him at, at that time because the more of our truth we are able to share with somebody the more we can deepen the relationship so if there are things that you have been hiding or if there have been things that you have been just so afraid of sharing with your partner maybe this exercise today is a perfect time to just do that share one little thing whatever it is for you that you feel like well now is the time and I have not been feeling good about hiding this share that just do one thing today which is about sharing something appreciation or a truth or something you have been hiding pick which one resonates with you but do it with the intention of deepen rela the relationship with one person that you are picking so reach out down below um with questions like if you are not really sure on how to do this i i will be there i'll hold your hand again guide you throughout this journey because this is so important because i truly want you to feel that connection the more connected you are feeling on your fertility journey the less alone you will be feeling and the more connected you are feeling, the more happiness you will be feeling from within. And when you're feeling that happiness from within, you are by default raising your vibration to match the frequency of your motherhood, of your intended family life. So this is why this exercise of picking a person and share your truth, share something that you can connect with this person. This is why this is so extremely, extremely important. So I truly hope that you're feeling my support and that you're feeling that I'm here for you because I am. And I'm wishing you a super, super, super beautiful day. And please share how this was turning out for you when you pick the person and you shared your truth or you shared the appreciation, whatever it was for you today. So again, sending you so much love. Bye for now.